Hello, I'm Johnny Carrera. I'm an instructional designer at Test Out, and also an 18 year veteran teacher. I taught at a Title I high school in San Antonio, Texas for 18 years, and I loved every minute of it. I want to introduce you to four of my students who went through my program. They got their certifications in high school, a couple went to college, a couple of them didn't, but now they're all working in the IT industry, making great money with lots of success and really enjoying it. And hopefully you can envision yourself maybe in that, a similar role. So we asked them several questions about their experience, how TestNet was used during their studies, and how it affected their studies and how it affected their, their reaching their goals. So I hope you enjoy their interview. We had a really good time asking them these questions. And as always, don't forget, skills pay you the bills. So starting my junior year of high school, um, actually uh, two people on this call, Pepe and Reyes, uh, friends that were already taking Mr. C's class. I, I wanted to see what the rave was about that they kept talking about networking and Mr. C. So went ahead, took that class and surprisingly, uh, I was about to uh, get out of the class uh, because I was playing soccer and then I got injured and that made me stay in that class and it's all history from now, stayed in IT. Ever since I was little, I always had a passion for computers, electronics. Naturally, I just started gravitating towards that. I think my passion with IT initially started with video games and the internet, seeing how many people could be connected on such a quick and small platform. And it was just amazing. And then from there, going into high school, I had an opportunity with your class to help me realize what the potential was, because at the time I didn't realize I could get a job. And so I just thought, hey, this is something I enjoy. You want to learn what you're doing and you have somebody who you don't hate teaching you. <laughs> kind of playing a lot of online games when I was really young and, and my fixated towards IT and, and tech as a whole and you know, I kind of fell naturally in, into the IT umbrella. Playing LAN games in Mr. C's room. Uh, as engineers and I think as IT people in general, we tend to develop those technical muscles really well, but then there's also the, the component of working with people, at least for me has been a challenge, but I think that I've also kind of learned through leading projects and leading people, having those sort of skills, definitely a challenge, but definitely worth it in the end. You have to be wanting to learn it and wanting to get into it because the subjects and the material can get so advanced it might discourage you. But if you stick with it, I think there's some real good value in there. And it'll once you get a grasp of that, it'll just propel you up. There's always been a fire in me to like prove what I can do or the potential I have. That's something I've dealt with for a long time that I might have to go seek counseling for one day. Right now, it helps me with my career and advancing myself. As long as you're motivated to always learn, that won't be an obstacle. I did have some peer pressure. It didn't start until I got my first job. At the time, they tell me that the reason they treated me like that is because I was 18 years old and they thought I didn't know what I was talking about. You just have to walk the walk and talk the talk, go from there. I would actually reverse the question and say, the peer pressure that we built within each other, within your classes, that kind of propelled us to go forward and keep going at it because we're all like-minded, passionate people. And so we're all going to push each other up and up. I guess this is a, a good point of surrounding yourself with, with the right people. For some of us, we either study together our Network Plus certifications or CCNA. Just being around that, that crowd that also wants to excel, that will help out a lot. It's a plus because you can put that on your resume, you can put that on your LinkedIn, and it'll make you stand out from the crowd. By doing the certification tests, you're also gaining that hands-on experience. And with that experience and with that certification bundle, invaluable to employers. I think the certification is definitely one of the more important facets in anyone's IT career. The certification is probably one of, if not the most important things when it comes to advancing your career. I don't believe I'd be where I'm at without my certifications. I've talked to recruiters before and 
they throw out any requests or any resume or anything that does not have a legitimate certification on it. I've never looked at an entry-level job that didn't require some sort of certification. I know for me, uh, for example, the Network Plus that I got out of high school definitely helped me land my first job out of high school as a networking assistant. And I know some of these guys, they went on to do full-time roles right after high school because of their certifications. I would say absolutely get certified as soon as you can. Stick with it, stick with the material, keep pushing. One of the things that Mr. Carrera told us is if you can see it and if you can hear it and if you can write it down, you'll retain the knowledge much, much better. To echo what the other guy said, sticking with it. To my second piece of advice, don't just peruse through the material. If you can, apply that knowledge towards something. Build a lab, go buy a $40 router from eBay or something along those lines. And that helps a ton. It helps build that desire to want to come back for more. Always learning. That's what keeps me going. Problem solving, learning. That's what I love about it. That's what keeps me motivated. Always a new problem to solve. There's always something going on. It keeps you on your toes. <laughs> Well, after nine years of seeing a lot of stuff in the service field with networking, one thing that does get me going is that anytime there's like a down device and there's multiple things that are broken and nobody knows what's wrong. But even thinking about it right now, I'm getting excited. Oh man. Have I enjoyed it in my career so far? A hundred percent. Surround yourself with peers and professionals that can help you out during those moments of crisis, during those moments where you're unsure of things or how to solve a problem, go ask your coworkers, get some feedback, get some help. Giovanni Serrato, currently a security automation engineer at uh, Starbucks. Jose Musquiz, currently a security engineer at Southwest Airlines. Dalton Lugadello, I'm currently a network security engineer at Rackspace. Reyes Castaneda, uh, network engineer at SWBC. So IT can deliver your dream job just like it did for my students, giving you opportunities to learn new things, work with fascinating people anywhere in the world and helping others. It's a very exciting field. If you want more information on test out and courses that we have that help you shape your IT future, contact us today.